Hey guys, it's Mrs. Ebersol, and I am here to talk to you about how to create your teacher's guide. If we look at the screen here, we're looking at the template, the teacher's guide template. Please make sure you begin by going to file and making a copy of the template right here, what I'm doing right there, because you're not going to be able to edit this one at all. Please do not select everything and copy and paste it. The formatting will be a mess. All right, excellent. Now, when you get to creating your own teacher's guide from the template, can you please make sure that you get rid of anything that's red? Okay, it's there to instruct you what to put there, but it should not stay there when you do your final version of it. Okay, I have an example for you, so let's look at that if that's all right. I made a teacher's guide for the movie The Mummy. Please begin by making sure you've put the name of the show in the top there. And then make sure you do this, and a lot of people skip over it, the quick summary of the show. Again, you don't have to tell me everything that happens in the show. Just like a one to two sentence explanation of the show. Okay? Then let's look at what this teacher's guide looks like. Underneath observation from TV show, you should have five observations. I've only done two, but you should have five. Okay, and you put the observation in there. Please remember that your observations should be detailed and should show that you've watched the show. Okay, so in this one, in the movie, there are five canopic jars containing the vital organs of the dead girl. They have heads of animals on top of the jars. Under accuracy level, this part's pretty short. You just put whether you think it's accurate or not. I mean, it could be partly, it could be mostly. Uh, if you're doing the expert column, you might put like four out of five stars for accuracy. Again, check the rubric if you want to know more about that. Then we've got the historical analysis. This is where you should be putting your research. Okay, so part of the mummification process was removing the vital organs and putting them in canopic jars. Each jar had the head of one of the sons of the god Horus. Traditionally, this is done in four jars, not five. Please note how there is clearly research involved here, that it explains why this is accurate or not accurate. And um, this is about as short as it should be, right? I, I don't want one sentence in here, like, this is accurate. No, it, it's got to have some meat on it. And then the last part you need to fill in is the source. Now, my suggestion to you is that you do the bibliography, and then all you got to do is copy and paste the source right into the teacher's guide. Please know that because it's a smaller space, you know, it's going to look a little strange if it's in proper format. That is totally and completely fine. Okay? Um... Just to look at the second one, just so you make sure you understand, people in the movie were performing the mummification ceremony wearing masks with dog heads. This is mostly accurate. And the mummification process was completed by a priest wearing the mask of Anubis, the god of mummification. Anubis was represented by a man with a jackal head. British Museum. Again, in the correct format and copied and pasted there. You do this five times, you're good to go. Okay, hopefully that makes sense and uh, you're good. All right, if you have any questions, you come and ask Mrs. Ebersol or Mrs. Platt or Mrs. McQueen. All right, talk to you in class.